Group. Today we'll be making lip gloss and showing the chemistry behind it. Vaseline is one of the main ingredients we will be using today. It's made of petroleum jelly and has different length chains of carbon molecules with about 20 to 25 carbon atoms. Small chains create a lower boiling point. It's a mixture of waxy hydrocarbons from crude oil, and the hydrocarbons are mainly from the paraffin series. It's a lubricant and made of greasy or polar molecules. It's made of solid mineral waxes and liquid mineral oils. The concentrations of wax can vary. Higher levels of wax means a higher melting point because the wax is polar, creating a stronger dipole-dipole effect. More oil means that the solution will be softer and have a lower boiling point. Harder petroleum jelly is used in lip balm. It's an emollient which prevents the water from leaving the skin. It's inert chemically, making it an ideal base, and its melting point is around 45 degrees Celsius. The petroleum jelly is an emulsifier. The emulsifier acts to keep everything within a substance held together. One example of an emulsifier commonly found in lip gloss is a polysorbate. Emulsifiers are, uh, consist of a nonpolar end and a polar end. The nonpolar end is typically made up of hydrocarbons, and these hydrocarbons lack the polarity that allows them to have dipole-dipole attractions, and therefore their main attractive force is one of the dispersion forces. The polar end consists of different elements such as alcohol groups or OH groups that allow for dipole-dipole interaction and attraction to occur between different molecules. This allows substances such as the nonpolar oil and polar substances such as water within a lip gloss to stick together. Paraffin wax is necessary for the consistency of the lip gloss. It has a melting point between 46 and 68 degrees Celsius and has a density of 900 kilograms per meters cubed. Paraffin wax is insoluble in water and is derived from petroleum. It has a chemical formula of C20H42 and therefore it is made up completely of hydrocarbons. Paraffin wax helps to prevent the dehydration of the, lip, um, dehydration of the lips and it improves the softness and feel of the lip gloss itself and is also very important for the consistency of the lip gloss. Paraffin wax, because it's completely made up of hydrocarbons, is a nonpolar substance, and therefore blend and dispersion forces is the main intermolecular force at play with the paraffin wax molecules. The oil we'll be using here today is coconut oil, which is a saturated fat, meaning that all of the carbons within this fat molecule contain all of the possible hydrogen atoms that they could possibly contain. Coconut oil molecules are composed completely of hydrocarbons, meaning that the molecules are nonpolar. Therefore, there are no dipole-dipole interactions, and the main intermolecular force here is London dispersion forces. However, the question is, are these London dispersion forces strong? We know that saturated fats like coconut oil and additionally like butter are typically solid at room temperature. This indicates that they have a higher boiling point. Therefore, these LDFs must be strong in order for these molecules to stay together at room temperatures within a solid structure. Fats, we also know, are massive molecules, and this further exemplifies why London dispersion forces are a major intermolecular force here. As soon as it's melted, you can see the consistency of the various substances. This is the Vaseline, this is the wax, and this is the oil. Now we're going to mix all the ingredients, which previ previously mentioned are Vaseline, wax, and oil. Now we're adding honey. Honey is a super saturated sugar solution, which is created by bees. Humans use honey for a variety of reasons, and today we're using it to make lip gloss. Overall, honey is mainly used in lip gloss to moisturize lips. Monosaccharides, including fructose and glucose, and disaccharides, including sucrose and maltose. The OH bonding makes honey polar. Also included in honey are proteins and amino acids. Enzymes, such as invertase, convert sucrose to glucose and fructose. Honey also contains vitamins, minerals, and antioxidants, as well as water, which overall moisturize lips. We're going to add a couple additives, such as food coloring, to give the lip gloss a nice pinkish rosary color, as well as some powder, which is going to um, add some shimmer to the lip gloss. Other ingredients that some lip glosses include range from cocoa, to vanilla, and then there are a variety of scents over here such as uh, tea tree oil, eucalyptus, or even pumpkin spice. Now we're going to put it in the refrigerator for about 10 minutes so the lip gloss can solidify.
And as soon as you allow the lip gloss to cool, you can open it up and see actual lip gloss. Just like that. Yay!